Today, we're comparing two titans of the skies, the Boeing 747, the legendary queen of the skies, and the Boeing 777, the world's largest twin jet. These aircraft have shaped long haul travel, but how do they stack up in 2025? Buckle up as we break down their design, performance, passenger experience, and more in this ultimate showdown. Let's start with a bit of history. The Boeing 747, introduced in 1970 with Pan Am, was the world's first wide-body airliner, earning its nickname Jumbo Jet. Designed to handle the surge in air travel during the 1960s, it became a symbol of aviation grandeur. Over 1,500 747s were built before production ended in 2023, with the final 747-8F delivered to Atlas Air. On the other hand, the Boeing 777, or 777, entered service in 1995 with United Airlines. Launched in 1990, it was designed to bridge the gap between the smaller 767 and the massive 747 replacing aging DC-10s and L-1011s. As of June 2025, over 1,760 777s have been delivered, making it the best-selling wide-body airliner ever. The 747's production may have ended, but the 777X, the latest 777 variant, is set to take flight in 2025, aiming to replace the 747 for many airlines. So which is better? Let's dive into the details. To compare these giants, we'll focus on the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental, the latest 747 variant, and the Boeing 777-9, the largest and newest 777X model, expected to enter service in 2025. The 777-9 is the longest commercial airliner ever stretching 251 feet 9 inches, about 76.72 meters, just edging out the 747-8 at 250 feet 2 inches, that's 76.3 meters. That's a difference of about 1.4 meters. The 777-9's wingspan is 235 feet 5 inches, 71.75 meters, when extended, but its folding wingtips reduce it to 212 feet 9 inches, 64.82 meters on the ground for better airport compatibility. The 747-8's wingspan is 224 feet 5 inches, 68.4 meters, slightly smaller but fixed. The 747-8 stands taller at 63 feet 6 inches, 19.4 meters, due to its iconic upper deck hump, compared to the 777-9's 60 feet 8 inches, 18.5 meters. The 747's double-deck design gives it a unique silhouette, while the 777-9's wider single-deck fuselage measures 19 feet 3 inches, 5.87 meters in cabin width, offering more flexibility for seating. The 747's four-engine double-deck design screams classic jumbo while the 777-9's twin-engine, sleek profile is built for modern efficiency. Let's talk about power. The 747-8 is powered by four General Electric GNEX 2B engines, each producing 66,500 pounds of thrust for a total of 266,000 pounds. These engines are efficient for a quad jet, but can't match the twin-engine 777-9, which uses two GE9X engines, each delivering 110,000 pounds of thrust, 220,000 pounds total. The GE9X is the most powerful commercial jet engine ever, designed for fuel efficiency and lower emissions. The 747-8 cruises at Mach 0.86, about 655 miles per hour, slightly faster than the 777-9's Mach 0.84, 640 miles per hour. However, a 747-400 once set a subsonic transatlantic record at 825 miles per hour with a strong tailwind, showing its speed potential. The 747-8 has a range of 8,000 nautical miles, about 14,816 kilometers, 
ideal for ultra-long haul routes like London to Sydney. However, the 777-9 flies 8,200 nautical miles, 15,185 kilometers, and the smaller 777-8 reaches 9,300 nautical miles, 17,224 kilometers, outpacing the 747-8. The 777-9's twin-engine design and composite wings reduce fuel burn by 12 to 13% compared to the 777-300ER and up to 33% compared to the 747-400. The 747-8, with four engines and a heavier frame, is more expensive to operate, making the 777-9 a favorite for cost-conscious airlines. Passenger experience is where these aircraft shine differently. The 747-8 typically seats 410 passengers in a three-class configuration, with a maximum of 467. Its double-deck design allows for unique features like Lufthansa's 100 premium seats, perfect for high-demand routes. The upper deck feels exclusive, almost like a private jet. The 777-9, designed for 426 passengers in a two-class setup, can seat up to 450 with a stretched 777-10X variant proposed. Its wider cabin allows for flexible configurations, like Emirates' 10 abreast economy, 3-4-3, or Japanese Airlines 9 abreast, 3-3-3, for more comfort. The 777-9's cabin is quieter, thanks to advanced soundproofing and composite materials. Its larger windows and higher cabin pressure, simulating 6,000-foot altitude, reduce fatigue compared to the 747-8's 8,000-foot equivalent. However, the 747-8's upper deck offers a unique, intimate experience that many passengers love. Both aircraft feature modern in-flight entertainment, but the 777-9's newer design includes touch-sensitive screens and faster connectivity. The 747, especially in older 747-400s, may feel dated unless retrofitted with the 777's signature interior, as seen in some China Airlines models. Cargo is a big differentiator. The 747-8 freighter can haul 292,400 pounds or 132,630 kilograms of cargo thanks to its spacious main and upper decks. The 777-8 freight, launching soon, carries 247,112,037 kilograms. Impressive for a twin jet, but less than the 747-8 freight. For passenger versions, the 777-9's lower hold offers more cargo volume than the 747-8, making it better for mixed passenger cargo routes. Airlines like Emirates prioritize the 777 for its cargo efficiency on high-demand routes like Dubai to New York. The 747-8, however, remains the king for dedicated freight used by operators like Atlas Air. Operating costs are critical for airlines. The 747-8's four engines and heavier airframe make it pricier to run with higher fuel and maintenance costs. The 777-9, with two engines and advanced aerodynamics, offers a 20% lower fuel burn per seat compared to the 747-400 and 13% better than the 777-300ER. Airlines like Lufthansa still operate the 747-8 for its premium cabin space, but many, like British Airways and United, are replacing 747s with 777-9s for efficiency. Emirates, the largest 777 operator with 163 aircraft, values its flexibility, while the 747's declining numbers, only 10 747-400s and 48 747-8Is in passenger service by 2021, reflect its fading presence. Both aircraft are incredibly safe. As of May 2024, the 777 has been involved in 31 incidents, with five hull losses and 542 fatalities, mostly from high-profile crashes like MH370. The 747 has a longer history, with 61 hull losses and over 3,700 fatalities, but its 54-year run means more exposure. The 777's fly-by-wire system and modern avionics make it easier to handle, while the 747-8's manual controls appeal to pilots who prefer tactile feedback. A United Airlines pilot once called the 747-400 like Mike the GOAT for its handling, but the 777's precision is hard to beat. The 747's legacy is unmatched. It pioneered wide-body travel and served as Air Force One. But with production ended and only freighters like the 747-8 PAF still flying, its era is waning. 
The 77-X with over 360 orders from carriers like Emirates and Lufthansa is Boeing's future, blending 747-like capacity with 787-inspired efficiency. The 77-9's delayed debut in 2025 keeps it fresh, while the 747's iconic hump will always hold a place in aviation history. Will the 777-X become the new queen of the skies? Only time will tell. So 747 or 777? For passengers, the 747-8 offers a unique upper deck experience, ideal for long haul comfort on routes like Frankfurt to New York with Lufthansa. The 777-9 promises a modern, quieter cabin with more legroom and tech, perfect for routes like Dubai to Los Angeles with Emirates. For airlines, the 777-9's lower costs and flexibility make it the future, while the 747-8 remains a niche choice for cargo and premium heavy routes. Both are legends, but the 777-9 is poised to carry the torch forward. That's our deep dive into the Boeing 747 versus 777. Which do you prefer, the iconic jumbo jet or the modern 777? Let us know in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more aviation shutdowns. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the skies.